my biggest advice to brands is to treat creators or treat YouTubers like they're telling their best friends because the people who watch my videos, I don't see them as like just fans. I see them as family, viewers, people that I've had conversations with for the last seven years. And that's why the promotion that we can provide is so much more valuable. It's, it's literally the best type of advertising, which is what? Word of mouth, right? If you can get somebody to go tell their buddy that that movie was great, you should go see it, or I had a burger at this place and it was so good. If somebody's friend tells them a place is good, that's the most valuable type of advertising you can get, obviously, because you trust your friends, right? You're like, he's my good buddy. Why? He has no, no alibi or no motivation to make me go to this place. He's just telling me something was cool. I want to go to something that's cool, so I'm going to go to this thing. That's what YouTubers are to their audience. You speak to millions of people, and your wife and your kids and your family have this storytelling enterprise. Creating. My sister does it, and both of my brothers have YouTube channels. Well, wait, but then also, you were one of the founders of Maker Studios. Yes, sir. So yeah. it wasn't enough for the family to be making. You had to, you had to extend it even more. My friends that I met, yeah, they're just friends that I met on YouTube. I had started doing YouTube videos and I met some of these people that were living in Los Angeles and we became good friends and started making YouTube videos together. And it was taking the storytelling process to the next level. We were individual storytellers working, creating our own projects together, but when we started Maker Studios, we brought all of these creators together and helped collab and you know write and edit and shoot. We held boom poles for each other and uh, it was a great time. It was a really cool collaborative type of uh, rising tide lifts all ships mentality because it was brand new. When we started Maker Studios, it was a business that never existed. Never you know, existed. The 400 people that work at Maker right now with titles, digital, whatever, those are made up titles that did not exist in the workplace four years ago. So when we were starting the business, it's like there's no business plan to base this off of. We're just figuring this out as we go. Like nobody's ever made content and made money in this way with a digital production or a digital distribution platform like YouTube. And, um, and neither did was YouTube. Cool. It wasn't right? like YouTube had some great design. They were figuring it out. Too. Totally figuring like, it out. And Maker was the Nitro. It was the very first. Well, the, one of the guys who started the YouTube partner program, George Strombolis, is in this room over here. He's, you know, one of the CEOs, of, he's a CEO of Fullscreen. So thanks to him, I can make YouTube videos and get paid for it. And he's in there eating a steak. I'm gonna go give him a hug. Yeah, as you should. <laughs>